here. Our first guest today says not all pets do like being dressed up in costumes, so keep that in mind for the holiday. And something else we're wondering about, black cats and Halloween, and also rats. Yeah, they're considered a classic Halloween symbol, black cats. But how did that come to be, and are they really bad luck and cause curses? Well, if you have a black cat, should you be careful to keep them inside during Halloween? Another question. That's why we are asking veterinarian Dr. Mike today. And we also do want to begin with a question about rats. Good morning, Dr. Mike. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Very good, thanks. So, Dr. Mike, this was news to David the other day that you are known as the rat doctor. I mean, you are very well educated and care for rats across the western Pennsylvania area. Well, you know, there's 100,000 fancy pet fancy rats in the, and within a 100-mile radius of the Pittsburgh area, and a lot of people don't know that. It used to be the costume jewel, jewelry of the queen. They'd have their fancy rats, uh, rats on the wrist, and, uh, and they're quite a pet. They're very, very social. They're incredibly smart. You can train them to do about anything for food. They're like a dog that's food made, motivated. You have a little blueberry on hand, though you can teach them to do almost anything. And I'm talking about the fancy rats. I'm not talking about the junkyard rat, of course. Well, right. Well, that's. I'm looking at this video and I'm like, oh, he is kind of cute. Yeah, these are cute. This is Einstein and Darwin, who apparently have their own YouTube channel. But tell us the difference, Doctor Mike, because these are are cute rats. <laughs> yeah, but these have been domesticated for over 200 years, and they have every breed you can imagine. You've seen those Angora rabbits and Angora cats. They have Angora rats. My favorite are the Dumbo rats, the the big-eared rats that are usually a little heavier. Their average life expectancy is about three to four years. That's the sad part. But they make incredible pets for, for you know, people over five. I always say, you know, wait till your children are at least over five. And then they make very, very good pets. And they require their social. So you should get them in pairs, not one at a time, because they're very social animals. Mm -hmm. And you can teach them a lot of things. That's so much from I know, Dr. We Mike, right? I just keep right? learning from Dr. Mike. <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about black cats because I know there's a lot of superstition around black cats, and I know that shelters sometimes have a tough time adopting out these particular cats, too. Yeah, I don't know why that is. In, in Asia and the UK, they actually happen to be lucky if you have a black cat. Hmm. Here, if they cross hmm. your path, we've heard about the bad luck, the superstitions, and if they have a, a white, you know, blade of hair on them or, you know, fur on them. Uh, that's supposed to be good luck, but you're not supposed to pluck it out because then it's bad luck. And so I don't know who makes this stuff up, but it's a the, the problem with the black cats around Halloween is when they're outdoors. Sometimes you have people that don't respect animals, and for some reason they'll pick on the black cat. So I tell people mm -hmm. if you have a black cat, make sure it stays indoors. I'd prefer it's indoors year round, but if it is an outdoor cat, make sure it's indoors around this time, the Halloween time, so that your cat doesn't get into any um, problems. But yeah, that's the pro you know, people hear about these superstitions and then they're afraid to have a black cat. Uh -huh. You and I both know that kitten right there is a lovely kitten and would make a great pet in any home. Yeah. Well, it and looks stunningly adorable. beautiful too with the sharp eyes and yeah, I, right. I just don't get it. Yeah. Hey, Dr. Mike, let's talk about, in general, things to keep in mind with Halloween and your pets. I mean, Halloween candy, even costumes that might frighten the, the dog, right? That's it. Those are the three big things. Well, the, the candy, keep them away from the candy, of course, and that includes the chocolate and sugar-free candies. So just keep them away from candy. It's not a good idea to give it to your pets. Um, the costumes, as you said, a lot of pets aren't happy with a costume. So don't put costumes. I mean, I love those pictures ahead of time. I loved being a judge in the big Halloween costume contest for the pets because people have incredible imaginations. But if your pet doesn't like it, don't put a costume on them. Let them go in their birthday suit, if you will. And then the, the third big thing I'd say in, in Halloween is protect them from your pumpkin. You know, we put candles in pumpkins. Um, animals will eat pumpkins, and so we want to make sure they're not eating the rotten pumpkin or getting causing a fire. That right. would be me. Dr. Mike, we've had a string of really nice weather, and I don't know if that's done anything to the tick population, but you are always a strong advocate to making sure that your pets are protected against ticks. You know, I had a client that is doing the proper tick and flea prevention every month, that came in, their animal had 20 ticks on it. This was wow. two weeks ago. 20 ticks. And, and, you know, we even called one of the uh, United States specialists out in Kansas, and he said, that's just bad luck. They got in a clutch of ticks. But what happens is some of these things we're using to repel ticks, um, collars and things like that, doesn't kill them. I would prefer people use something on their pets that kills the ticks. And, uh, and that works very, very well. So when the tick bites the pet, they, they're the bait and the tick dies. 
if you use something that repels them, they come in the house, guess what? So no, I'm not a big fan of collars for flea and tick prevention. Try to stick with like the chewables. I like those a lot. There are some spot-ons that work very well. Speak to your veterinarian. I use Next Guard in my dogs, front light gold in my cats, and it works very, very well. Good advice. Right. Thank you, as always, Dr. Mike. T very You're timely welcome. advice. It is, for sure. <laughs> Halloween. Happy Halloween to you, you too. too. And for more of Dr. Mike's helpful advice for pet owners, you can visit him at his practice, Animal General in Cranberry Township. And watch for him as a regular PTL contributor. You will also find him on KDKA Radio and his podcast and Facebook as well. It's kind of impossible not to run into him somewhere. I know, I know.